All right, so we are at version 2017.42 right now. Only minor updates since the last time I did this, but with every single update, you also get some improvements on autopilot. So today I'm doing my regular trip again, um, which is a trip where I have some specific corner cases that I'd like to test, some regular roads, like this is a secondary road. Um, and here up on the hill, usually with autopilot, it goes into a different, uh, it, it starts to veer off when you go over the hump. So let's see what it does this time. So coming up at the hump. Yep, it veers to the right a little bit. Um, not much worse. Oh, that's another case when the car in front of me actually goes to the left. How long does it take to overtake the car then? This, is, this has gotten a lot better. It used to really slow down in the previous version um, and waited for like one or two seconds uh, when the car was already um, in the next lane and then the car would still detect it as being in the same lane I guess and then it just waited and waited and only then it started going so now this was quite fast same here so the car is turning let's see how long it takes to overtake that well that's not too bad that's not too bad so that's, that smoothness has improved a little bit. Yeah. Go so here is the next section where if I go next to the divider, it would drive into that divider, uh, which was a really dangerous uh, situation. So let's see how it handles it this time. It stays pretty centered. It started to go a little bit, just a little bit, but then again, it stayed centered. So. Yeah, that's, that's a good thing. Another thing I also noticed is that the car is better at keeping the distance uh, in view of the car in front of you. So there's an additional smoothness uh, to the car when you are on a highway, for example. You actually, when, when a car cuts in front of you, uh, so you're following a car at, usually I have my distance set at four. Um, the car comes in between, it would slam on the brakes pretty much and then accelerate again when when you have enough distance um, and I'm tr we'll see if we can try to mimic that situation in this run um, but basically what it does now it, it, it lets the car in between doesn't slam on the brakes but gradually allows for more room again so yeah the 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 overall distance uh, keeping is a lot smoother in this version so yeah i'm happy about that but there's still some quirks like for example in uh, turns in tight turns it still goes over the the lines um so that's not good um it, it does keep center a little bit better in the lanes on straight lines or on the straight roads like this um but yeah, on turns, it's still, it's it's all over the place in, in the lane. So and sometimes it even crosses the lane uh, if the turn is a little bit tight. So yeah, it's it's still mostly towards um, highways that it's geared. So secondary roads, it's good that it works there, but it's definitely not yet geared to those roads. Well, we've got a few tighter corners that are coming up. Um, this is a section where I can do 70 kilometers an hour. I'll even slow it down to 65 to give the car some breathing room. Uh, hopefully we don't have any oncoming traffic so I can actually show you guys what I mean with the car crossing the lanes. So here we go, this is the first turn. Just keep it for the reaction. So there it goes over the lane and I have to cut autopilot. Just enabled it again for the other turn. Near it actually, nope, it actually would have driven me into that tractor. Um, so those kind of turns, definitely not autopilot 2 ready yet. 
you're on the highway now and something that I noticed is that when I want to do a lane change um, and I want to initiate it now I just passed the truck it shows the dotted lines it waits for a little while and then it shows the dotted lines again and only then initiates the movement so um, to me that makes me think that the repeater cameras so the side rear view cameras are being used to detect the traffic um, I've read something on the TMC forum that there might be a second neural network uh, being used for the side cameras don't know if it's active yet or not uh, but it seems that way so that's kind of uh, yeah kind of neat so let me see if I can get this guy to cut in front of me so here as well coming up to that part that that truck can gradually takes distance which is good is he going to cut in I'll probably take the exit as well so I need to take the exit there as well let me just get in front of that truck there and then we'll see what it uh, what it does on uh, on that road a couple of uh, interesting points there as well Ah, these damn roadworks in Loker and it's it's been hell for a couple of months so I can't wait until they're uh, till they're finished but this is a situation that autopilot is really not capable of handling right now um, it detects the white line uh, but the barrier makes it a very small lane so the car actually tends to want to drive into that barrier which is which is not good um, but it just came off the exit of uh, on the uh, E17 highway and uh, right there where you see the flashing lights that is actually where the new supercharger in Lokeren is uh, is going to be so let me just have a quick look whether or not it's open yet but it should be uh, normally today it would open I see people working on the electricity which is good um, so yeah let's see when it will open uh, hopefully today maybe tomorrow uh, I'll drive by again tonight and I'll make a separate video of that because the stalls on that uh, supercharger have an interesting setup so I'll talk about that in a separate video right now I'm approaching the lights again um, and then there was a section where it used to veer off because of a a painted divider not a real divider that's that's higher up the road but just a painted one so let's see what it does there so you're going up to 70 here it's again leaning a little bit towards the left side of the lane if a truck comes from the other side that <laughs> that's really scary so usually I take over then because it can be uh, pretty close so here we come to that divider and here it goes to the left and the car just yeah keeps going on which is good uh, with the previous one it just doubted a little bit uh, there but again a little bit biased to the left side of the lane instead of the center coming up to stop the traffic it really starts braking early uh, which is good and the braking is also gradual that's also a positive point now let's see what it does when we get moving again how long does it wait it does take a lot of distance from the previous car when coming to a standstill but yeah it, it reacts quite quickly to the other car driving off and up ahead we have like this small uh, shift in the road um, and then a little bit further at the next traffic lights you have this uh, complete lane shift where it goes quickly left right to just move up a lane and there it usually has problems 
or it used to have let's see what it does with this update so this lane shift well it's a small shift uh, just going uh, left and right um, yeah it does it pretty good and, and it's smooth uh, I get the impression that sometimes autopilot starts to not going to say cut corners but to drive like I would like go from outside inside to the outside so that that's positive it, it all makes for a more fluent and less jerky uh, autopilot movement so again in, in this long turn um, the car stays a little bit more to the left but yeah no it's it's yeah it's pretty much centered so here we're coming up you see the bridge going up there uh, right in front of the bridge uh, the car needs to shift left and right uh, it might take it have to be careful with the oncoming traffic of course but let's see what it does it's going left it's going right yeah that that was smooth actually that was driving at around 63 you can do a maximum of 70 here um, so yeah that was about 63 kilometers an hour and it's actually took it pretty good and a small correction after the right turn it did go a little bit too much to the right uh, but yeah I'm happy with the new update some improvements still some improvements to do uh, especially on the secondary roads uh, but all in all it's uh, it's a better update than the previous one all right, so thanks for watching I'll see you guys next time